What's going on guys, Chase Reiner here, and today I want to talk about something that absolutely destroyed me, but made me millions in the process. Now this year I'm over $1.5 million in revenue, and I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that to show you that it's possible. It's possible for you to go from making no money online, like I did, you can look at my older videos and see that I was completely broke, living in a garage, trying to teach people how to optimize their websites, on YouTube and how I went from doing something like that, not making any money, to where I'm at now, where I'm making millions. So I have about 10 things that I wanna talk about today. A lot of them are pretty quick, but they are really the building blocks to what you probably want to focus on and what I need to focus on to be able to continue making money like I am online. So let's get into the first few things. Before I do though, I wanna mention that I have a full step-by-step -step program that shows you everything I do over the shoulder, day in and day out, every button I click on. It's over 100 videos now, and you can have my exact process if you go to aiprofitscourse.com, you can get more information about it, see how it works, see all the people that are successful with it right now, but that course is a great place to start if you've never made a dollar online yet before. The first thing that I wish I would have known when I started is that the end of the race is always the hardest part. If you're starting out and you haven't had a ton of results yet, chances are it's because you haven't competed in the race long enough yet. And most of the time, when I'm about to make a lot more money than I currently am, it's because I'm going through the hardest part of the race and I make it to the other side. And so I'm telling you, there's so many times that I've wanted to quit, that I've wanted to give up, that I've told myself that it's impossible. The reality is nothing is impossible if you spend enough time doing it. And so if you can take enough action, enough consistent action over and over and over on the same thing, it's going to feel like you're not getting any, any results. And it's usually right before you're about to give up that that's when you see the biggest change. I'll give you an example. I've been on a uh, diet slash workout plan lately and it's been super frustrating. I've been working really hard and I've been going for weeks sometimes without seeing results. And then right before I'm about to give up, right when I'm saying, hey, this feels pointless, when I stick to it, that's when I start to really see the results. That's when I start to see the scale go down. That's when I start to see the muscle go up. And so that's that's how it is with pretty much anything I've seen. With most of anything that I've worked on online, it's right when I feel like I'm about to give up that that's when the big change happens. And I think the reason why this is the way it is is because your body and your mind adapt to the thing that becomes difficult and the thing that's difficult starts to not feel as difficult anymore because your body learns to adapt. And so you want to train your mind to realize that when you start to feel like, like everything's not gonna work, that's when your body learns, your mind learns to figure out a way to accept that challenge and deal with it. So. Again, if you feel like giving up, if you feel like you haven't gotten to the point where you want to be yet, don't worry. Just stick to it. Take the same action. Keep working on it. Eventually, things will start to make sense. So the next thing is that there is always a next level. Everybody has their own race they're competing in. I'm trying to get to the next level just like you're trying to get to the next level. And getting to the next level could be anything. You could be getting to the next level with your health. You could be getting to the next level with your finances. You could be getting to the next level with your relationships. Ideally, you want to focus on what is your next level and not worry about what my next level looks like or what somebody else's next level might look like. The more I can focus on how can Chase level up as a person, how can Chase level up financially, that's when I can create goals around what my next level looks like and I'm not gonna get distracted by what other people are doing. And so I think part of the reason why people get so distracted by shiny objects and doing a bunch of different new opportunities and new things is because they look at other people's success, they see that it's something's working for somebody else and then they, tr they pivot and they do something completely different because they're comparing their success to somebody else's. Now, I'm not saying don't go and look at what other people are doing as a framework and use that as, as something that you could go and do in your own business or what you're doing online. But what I'm saying is focus on your system, focus on what you're doing, focus on being 
unique to you. And so it, let's say you're like a website designer and you want to go from making a thousand dollars a month to 2000 or from 2000 to 4,000, or maybe a hundred to 200, whatever your next double up is. And I always try to recommend double what you're doing. Don't try to go for 10 X. Don't try to go for some unsustainable result. If somebody's making a million dollars and you try to go and like make a million dollars because they're making a million dollars, that's not what you want to do. If you're making a thousand dollars, try to go do two. If you're making two, try to go four because ideally all you have to do is, is find a way to double down on what you're doing. And so for me right now, my goal, like I make around 150K a month consistently for the last, I don't know, four or five months. And so I'm thinking, okay, well, what can I do to double down on that? What can I do to make 300K a month? Because if I can make 150K a month, ideally, if I just do double what I'm doing, if I find a way to streamline or automate what I'm doing a little bit more, the things that are working, I can double my results, okay? And then when I get there, then I can double again. But again, this is based on my own goals. My goals are specific to what my current processes look like. And so what I'm doing to make 150K a month is probably gonna be completely different than what somebody else is gonna be doing to make that same amount of money. So focus on you, focus on your next level, and focus on creating goals around what you want to do to become the better version of you in whatever area you're working on. All right, next thing is most of the things that made me 2X just randomly appeared one day. And so what I mean by this is every time I've made a lot more money or I figured out like a way to double my results, it's usually because I woke up one day and I was like, well, what if I try this? And it's never been something where I'm like thinking about it super hard and then all of a sudden like, I figured it out. It's usually like I've been working consistently, 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 and then it feels really hard, feels really hard. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I don't have the answer. And then all of a sudden I'm like, well, what if I try this? And so what I recommend is focus on being consistent, focus on doing the same thing over and over. And eventually things will start to make sense just by doing the action. And I'll give you an example of this. I've been trying to do YouTube videos for, I don't know, six years. And I've been trying to find ways to better come up with ideas, better to, ways to do content better. And I've, I've always kind of, va uh, I've kind of done different angles all the time, right? I've done over the shoulder type trainings. I've done videos like these. I've done so many different things. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I'm always experimenting. But the truth is that like most of the time I'm, in my head thinking, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? And so I know that I've found ways to make it easier, right? I've found ways, like what I'm doing now is a hundred times easier than what I was doing or thousands of times easier than what I was doing when I first started. When I first started, it was very, very difficult. You know, I not only did I not have the video ideas, but I didn't know what I was selling. I didn't know who I was selling to. I didn't know a lot of the things that I know now. But what I'm saying is that it never actually, kind of, it never really gets easier. It just kind of, it, it becomes new challenges. And you might be thinking, well, why not just give up? Why not, like once you start making enough money, why don't you just stop working? And I, and I don't believe in not working on things. I don't believe in not growing. Like I wanna keep doing more because I like working on things, I like growing. And so I like feeling challenged. As you keep progressing, as you keep doing things, just by showing up, right? Like the other day, I didn't want to go to the gym. I hated, I hated going the other day, but I went because I knew I needed to, because I needed to take the consistent action. And that's kind of how it works for me is like, yeah, maybe I don't know the best video idea. Maybe I don't know the best way to do this in, in the sense of doubling my output, but I'm going to keep doing the best thing that I know of that I can do. And as I keep doing it, things will naturally become easier because I'll just start to adapt and I'll figure out how to make the thing that was initially hard now easy for me. Another big thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is that most of the time you're not going to feel it, right? Like I'm not going to feel that I 100% get it all the time. Like right now, in the past, in the future, I'm always going to have these moments where I'm going to feel like, okay, I don't really know if this is the best direction. I don't really know if this is what I should be doing. The only time you really feel it is when you get the result, but the result is usually something that comes after you do something for a long time, right? And so if I'm gonna, let's say, double my income from 150K to 300K a month, then I need to work on that before I feel it, right? 
a lot of what I'm going to be doing is going to be like, okay, let me try this. I'm going to keep being consistent. I'm going to see if this works, but I'm not going to be feeling it because I don't have the result yet. And so if you're starting out, you're like, I'm trying to make a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, thousand dollars, whatever it is, you're not going to feel it until you get the, the success. But the, the, the question is, can you focus on doing it? Can you focus on taking consistent action? Can you front yourself the success in advance? Can you say, Hey, I'm going to pretend that I'm already successful because if you can fake it till you make it, right? If you can say, hey, I'm already there. I'm already able to do this. I think I can do this. Then you're going to figure out the steps along the way, right? Because there are people that are making whatever you're trying to make. If you're trying to make $100 a month or a day or an hour, there's people that do that, doing what you're trying to do. And so it's not whether or not you can do it. It's whether or not you figured it out yet. And so I think as soon as you eliminate, can I do it and turn it into, I, I can do it. I just haven't figured it out yet. The more you can spend figuring it out instead of doubting yourself, because there's no point in doubting yourself. You can do it. I can do it. People are doing it. So focus on doing it and don't worry about whether or not you can or can't. You can do it. Anybody can do it if they put in enough time. Another one is focus on providing more value, even if you think you've done enough. And so that's what I'm always trying to figure out is like, how can I put more value in the things that I do? How can I do better videos? How can I create better courses? How can I help more people? How can I give more? How can I, and, and I'm constantly obsessed with giving more because the more you give, the more you get, the more valuable you are as a person, the more money you make because of the value that you create in other people's lives. And so how do you give out more value? Well, a lot of what becoming more valuable comes down to is doing things that are going to benefit more people. Sometimes it's really hard to figure that out. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what does that look like? You know, oh, I don't know how to give out value in this sort of area or this sort of category, but the things that are the most valuable are the things that are the hardest to find. Another one is paying for convenience to learn faster. So one of the things I wish I would have done um, a lot sooner is just pay money to learn. I like to just spend money on things that I think are going to work. And if they don't, then I, I go to the next thing and I look at my failure and the things that I paid for as a tuition. When you go to college, you pay a tuition. I never really went to college. I went for like maybe a few months, but people are willing to pay to learn things because it helps accelerate their learning. Now, I look at the same thing with people that I hire, with um, tools that I pay for, with things, you know, courses. I'm willing to spend money to figure out what's working at an accelerated pace. And if it doesn't work, well, great. I learned what didn't work for me, but I would rather pay the money for the convenience of being able to learn quicker and be able to experience failures faster than to wait and try to plan it all out and then see the failures, you know, a year later when I could have learned from it, like almost instantly. I think money is great because it's an accelerator. It helps you learn things quicker. And if you lose money, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means that you learned what didn't work. So you can apply that to the next thing that you do. And then the last thing I want to talk about is don't worry about the dollars focus on the big prizes. <clears throat> this is a huge thing. It's super easy to get distracted by a few bucks. Um, oh, I can make money with this. I can make money with that. There's opportunity everywhere. Focus on the big prize. You know, what is the thing that you really, really want long-term? How do you want to be? How do you want to live? You know, what's the type of person that you want to uh, create? What are the relationships that you want to have? You know, what does your life look like? And that's something that I think about all the time, which is how do I not just create freedom financially, but how do I focus on the big prize, which is just feeling better and looking better and being better? Um, and so that's something that I would definitely think about is like, don't just worry about money, focus on becoming consistent, focus on being a person of your word, focus on becoming more valuable, focus on just growing and don't worry about the arbitrary, oh, I'm going to make money and, you know, I'm going to be able to buy whatever this Gucci shirt, right? It's cool, but it doesn't change you as a person. And I think in order to really become valuable, in order to really make money, you want to become a better person overall and become more valuable and by doing that, people are willing to give you a lot of money. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and if you like these types of videos, let me know. We'll see you the next one. Till we do, happy money making. And make sure if you haven't already, go to AIProfitsCourse.com 
and pick up the full program where I show you how I earn money online and everything I do.